So basically we set up Project All Rocks in hope to like enlighten people with what cows are really like because you don't see any media coverage on like a cow's like actual nature. Like some people they only know cows as like commodities so basically we're just showing like a behind the scene of like the life of cows. <laughs> So like a few other animals, in a herd they have a hierarchy, so there's mainly like a group and then a leader. But there's also, like other animals and like donkeys, they bond for life. So they'll have their friendship group and then even more so they have best friends. And ours have actually paired, Hannibal's paired with Quincy and Zebedee's paired with Pedro. So they'll actively go and find each other, they'll hang out more. Hanny's, he's um, a bit of an introvert. He doesn't like other cows. And Quincy's this extroverted clown. And they're complete opposites, but Hanny loves him so much. But that's just how deep the bond goes. So they do have a lot of personality cows. And I think that's what we want to show and hopefully inspire other people to rescue them. We originally wanted cattle because one, my sister's a huge fan of them and two, um, next door, every year they had cattle and we just generally got attached to them but they were beef cattle so each year they would like go last year was kind of the last straw because like my sister bonded with this cow called Eve that's what we named her because she was a limousine I mean, she was taken in December when we thought, okay let's um let's go and rescue some cows and originally we planned to go to the market and get her and when we were looking at the market report it shows you the prices of each cow so there was all like 200 quid cows 100 quid 400 quid and then there was cows that were for sale for it was like 10 to 20 quid and we thought oh what's going on here these were called bobby calves and i know not many people have heard of bobby calves we hadn't so we went and researched what they were. So every year in the dairy industry, a female cow will have to produce a calf in order to produce milk. But it'll probably be around five years until she gets cold. So that's five babies. This baby is called the bobby calf and they're direct waste product or a byproduct of the dairy industry. So basically every cow on every dairy farm you see will have a calf each year and all those calves will be taken away at birth from their mum and the cows are either shot or they um, send them to slaughter at four to five weeks old. They're still babies, like we got ours at four to five weeks. And they're usually, because they're worth like nothing, cause they're either gonna be veal or um, dog food. Bobby calves, they're like the sad, like hidden truth behind dairy. None of them really get to see the outside either. So it's so lovely when we first let us out and they were just running, kicking footballs about. <laughs> I just want people to see them as pet, something that they can keep and something that they can look after and defend. This is mine and my sister's project. We look after them, we get up early in the morning, have to skip them out for uni and work, which is a little bit tiring, but it's not too bad Like once you get into a routine. I think if you have animals, you have to put them first. Sometimes after I've like been out here, because obviously it's a lot of physical work, and then I go to work, people can't understand like why I'm tired, and I'm, sometimes I'm just so tired, because it's like going to work and then going to work again. But honestly, I think you just got to fit them in. I can't complain. Like, I love the boys. It's all, it's a huge payoff, like, seeing them. At the moment, we're still learning. We've never had cattle before. We've had horses. And, like, we generally, like, we've got a rescued street dog inside. We had a couple of rescue bulldogs. We still got one of them. And a lot of our animals are rescues. Like, we had loads of battery hens. We weren't vegan at the start of the experiment, but when we found out more about these cows, we adopted a plant-based lifestyle because we thought, nah, we don't want to be a part of this. I think my mum's quote was that she felt like she hadn't been being a very good like vegetarian because this whole time like we've had the space for like other animals and there's been all these cows like going through all that. 